Jennifer Molson is one of two dozen patients in the Canadian trial. 20 years ago, this was impossible. It was, it was scary and I mean, and it was my last shot at, at, at living. Diagnosed at 21, Molson went downhill fast. In less than five years, Molson was relying on her then boyfriend for everything. At this point, Aaron and I were living together, but he was my full-time caregiver. I mean, he was helping me bathe, he was helping me shower, he was cutting my food. Molson was selected to participate in a new experimental treatment for MS developed by two Ottawa doctors. CSF is white. Harold Atkins, a bone marrow transplant specialist and neurologist, Dr. Mark Friedman. I mean, it's not a cakewalk by any means. It's much tougher than anything that we've done. I have incredible respect for the patients, like the courage for them to do this. It's amazing. Um, but they've reaped the rewards from it. The doctors harvested stem cells from bone marrow. Then they used high doses of chemotherapy as if treating leukemia. Stem cell transplants have been used before, but the Ottawa doctors were more aggressive, not just suppressing the immune system, but killing it off. Then they reset it by using the patient's own purified stem cells. The idea was that this new, healthy immune system would have no memory of attacking the body. According to The Lancet, the treatment halted clinical relapses and development of new brain lesions in 23 of 24 patients with multiple sclerosis. Eight of the 23 patients had a sustained improvement in their disability after seven and a half years. And The Lancet describes the results as the first treatment to produce this level of disease control or neurological recovery from MS, but treatment-related risks limit its widespread use. Still, the doctors aren't sure why some patients stayed the same while others got better. They are also quick to underline the risks. One patient died in the trial. Anytime you use chemotherapy in the, in the uh, doses that we did, you know, up front there is the potential for severe complications including death. But down the road, 10, 20, 30 years from now, they may have a higher risk of developing cancer. But in the meantime, look at the quality of life they got. It was like a miracle, right? <laughs> so that's something that you've been involved in and you have this person who can go from being incredibly afflicted by the disease to, to getting better and, and you know, it, it, it's just, you know, you're just so overwhelmed by, by that change. Like this unforgettable day. And she came in wearing heels. This is a girl who could barely walk with a cane the last time I saw her. I mean, I got married 11 months after my transplant. I was sick, pretty much in a wheelchair, and I walked down the aisle at my wedding. No crutches, no MS medication, relishing simple tasks. Jennifer Molson calls it her second chance. Rita Chelly, CBC News, Ottawa.